Central Park, located in Santa Clarita, is home to many outdoor amenities with multiple athletic fields. Residents across the valley might not know what runs along the backside of Central Park, which locates the Disc Golf Course. This past Saturday, the city hosted a community play day for players to test out what could be a permanent 18-hole course. We've expanded our footprint here, um, where we've uh, worked very closely with the SCV Water District, uh, where we were able to um, acquire more space for the course. Central Park is leased by the Santa Clarita Valley Water Agency, which led to discussions that finalized fence expansions for the course. Players at the event experienced the city-made changes along with spent time with the disc golf community. It is set up to get feedback on a, a new 18-hole course a draft design that we have um, and get their input so we can meet their needs and make sure that um, we have a great course for them to play. The event consisted with friendly people with different types of experience all around sharing one thing in common for those curious in joining the sport. If you're afraid of, you know, learning how to play, then just pick up a, a simple frisbee and come out and start playing. And people are always willing to help you learn. And uh, as you gain experience, you learn the difference between the discs. For players like Steve, his experience within disc golf has shown the expansion within the sport. Well, I started out about the 1970s at Kalamazoo College, and we still hadn't had, uh, they didn't have baskets at that time, so we played uh, street signs and light poles and bushes. Now that Santa Clarita is finalizing a permanent course, how does the longtime player view the changes? I like all of the improvements. I, I haven't, other than some minor tweaks, I haven't heard any major complaints. With players getting the chance to voice their opinion, the city is looking to score in as much feedback as possible. I want to thank everybody at, the, at those agencies and thank the uh, city's parks and recs as well as the staff who over time uh, has, has worked hard to make this day possible. For Canyons News, I'm Jonathan Garcia.